What's up everybody and welcome to Fort Myers Beach. It's been about a year and a half since Hurricane Ian. Let's see if this place has made a comeback. So guys, a year and a half ago, Fort Myers Beach had 14 feet of storm surge and it was the biggest disaster that has ever hit Southwest Florida. Probably even worse than Hurricane Donna in the 60s. This was the worst thing that's ever happened to us down here. So after just a horrible event, here we are a year and a half later and things are looking a little bit different for the positive side. Now, I covered Hurricane Ian, and I was on Fort Myers Beach as much as the day before it happened. So we've done a lot for this place before and after the hurricane. But a lot of the old timers feel like things, well, are changing too fast. Let's talk about it. Look closely, guys. At this situation here in North Fort Myers today. North Fort Myers, Fort Myers Beach, my goodness, it never got that bad. So I actually did a video on San Carlos Island on the other side, that's where all the mobile home parks are. In San Carlos Island, I was there five days before the hurricane, recording San Carlos Island, before. Not after, before. But of course, after the hurricane, media from all over the world came over here to uh, capitalize on our destruction. I made $14,000 the month of Hurricane Ian on YouTube. And I needed that money to move because I was in Fort Myers and I ended up in Branton a few weeks after Hurricane Ian. I had to move. I didn't have to, but it would have been a lot more convenient than living in the mess of living in Fort Myers after a hurricane. That's definitely not where you want to be. But as you can see here today, it's looking a lot different. At least the vibes are back. To some type of degree, right? To some type of way or another, things are looking better in Fort Myers Beach today. And it really feels good. I'm originally from the Naples, Fort Myers area. Now, I couldn't afford Naples, so I ended up in Fort Myers. And after Hurricane Ian, who the crap wanted to be in Fort Myers, so I ended up in Bradenton. But really, this area to me is home. But one advantage that I feel for a fact Bradenton has over Fort Myers is better beaches. Undisputable. Does that mean that this place is not special to me? Yeah, it is. I spent 20 years of my life in North Naples and most of my best memories are going to be on a sterile island or somewhere near a sterile island. And uh, so it's definitely a special place for me. My best memories are out there fishing the passes at night, you know? Some of my best redfish and snook and the time I caught a grouper, you know what I mean? Or hooked into a grouper. But the vibes are splendid. The vibes have come back to some degree. And, you know, on the residential side, there's still a long way to go, but at least the vibes along here are somewhat good. The water smells horrendous, so it doesn't smell pleasant today. And I feel like with Hurricane Ian, we have a thousand years of contamination. I describe Hurricane Ian as a thousand years of contamination. The water in uh, Branton smells refreshing. The water here smells like, well, it doesn't smell pleasant. It still has that like right after the hurricane. Well, you know what I mean? If you've been through a hurricane, you know that like, okay, I'll give you an example. If you're at home, leave a bucket of water in a bucket outside for a month. Let it get green and, and algae. That's what this smells like. It smells like green and algae water. Um, but that's not going to deter me from having a good time. And it sure hasn't stopped none of these people. People are definitely back to trying to make the best out of the situation here. Like you're supposed to. Um, many of the people feel that perhaps one of their problems is that now that they're rebuilding, they're not putting up the cockroach shacks they had here before. But you have to understand, you just had a hurricane and it knocked down your cockroach shack. Maybe you shouldn't put up another cockroach shack. 
maybe it is time for a three-story concrete block building built up to new engineering standards. Maybe that's a freaking clue. Now you're going to lose the character of the place? Of course you will. Uh, we don't drive around in horse buggies anymore. We drive around in cars. It's 2024. It's not 1865. We don't drive around in horse buggies. We drive around. What I'm trying to say is you got to get with the times. And the reality is that whether you want to hear this or not, if you're from Fort Myers Beach, you're not going to like what I have to say. Because what I have to say is not what you want to hear. And I'm from North Naples. I have seen the place that I'm from change a great deal. And I'm not happy with the place North Naples has changed. I understand the feeling. But feelings and realities are two different things. You can feel a certain way, but that doesn't change the reality. The reality is that those old cockroach filled shacks where for the most part, everything on this island became a vacation rental. It could have been an old historic building. It was a vacation rental. Everything became vacation rentals. Means that it wasn't families living on this island. They were rental properties. And they weren't quiet rental properties. These are drunk kids coming on spring break, you know, doing spring break type crap. So it's not like you lost this gem of a place. Dude, Fort Myers Beach is a place of debauchery, okay? And I have worked in Fort Myers Beach over the years. And I, unless I was coming to fish, I dreaded coming to Fort Myers Beach. For one, I dreaded it because the traffic is usually absolutely abnormal. I mean, unacceptable traffic. Traffic here, why are these lights blinking? Traffic here was unacceptable. It would take me an hour and 45 minutes before the hurricane to get from Lehigh to Fort Myers Beach. That sucks. A few other times I was stuck in one place. It took me an hour and 20 minutes to drive one mile when it was under construction. So, not everything was as beautiful as you remember. There were some things about this place that quite frankly kind of sucked. And whether you want to admit it or not, that's the truth. Now before the hurricane, uh, these were businesses that were kind of bulldozed. So a lot of buildings are gone today. And I guess now they're selling pontoon boats where restaurants used to be. Or little stores and stuff and little you know, tourist crap. So it's actually... Uh, it's actually a little dark, but that's kind of how we like it along the coast because of the sea turtle crap going on. Guys, the reality is the Fort Myers Beach was all vacation rentals. You had all these old shacks from, you know, the 60s and 70s. Oh, here's the other thing. It's not like they were 100 years old or 120 years old. You're not talking historic. You're talking cockroach shacks from the 70s and 60s. It's not like it's like a hundred year old building that got, you know. No, there are very few. You're talking stuff that wasn't even that old, okay? Buildings weren't that old. They had all been turned into vacation rentals. So the locals, they're like, we want our cockroach shacks back. Your cockroach shacks were debauchery. Vacation rentals. School vacation rentals. That's rich people making life harder for everybody else. They got enough money already. It's not enough for you to have a house by the beach. Now you also got to rent it for $30,000 a month. And in turn, then that puts pressure on the local real estate market, which in turn, the local working class people can't even afford to have a freaking house to live because 80% of the properties are now vacation rentals. So honestly, I've been pretty straightforward about how I feel about the situation. Screw your vacation rental. Your vacation rental was making my life in Southwest Florida a dang misery. So, no, I'm not sympathetic uh, you lost your vacation rental. And I'm sympathetic to the people in North Fort Myers to have their roof blown off on a trailer because I can't I'm afford I'm sympathetic enough. for the people in North Fort Myers. I'm sympathetic for the people who had a condo that were paying $1,400 a month for rent and now they're homeless. I'm sympathetic for those people. But if you had a million dollar, three million dollar vacation rental, cockroach shack from the 70s, you've done no improvements to it. Don't act like you were taking care of those properties because you know that you weren't taking care of those properties. Those properties were completely in disrepair before the hurricane. They're full of cockroaches. They were vacation rentals for $30,000 a month. 
and then everybody had a vacation rental, so there wasn't anything available for the locals to rent. So I'm sorry you're gonna excuse me, but screw your vacation rental. You have enough, if you can afford to have an investment property here on the beach, you already have enough money. I'm not sympathetic for you. And the people that now are complaining that, oh, they're putting up all these new buildings, no crap, the older ones didn't stand up to it. But let me tell you this, I got a friend that has a three, four story house here on the island, a little bit south of here. And he didn't have that same, his house didn't wash away. Why didn't his house wash away? Because it was built up to the new building code. So yeah, no, your old shacks weren't as pretty as you thought they were. And you didn't really live in your old shack. It was a freaking vacation rental. So I really struggle to sympathize with the locals and their desire to prevent change on the island. Property, piece of land here is for $4 million for a freaking quarter acre of sand. You're not going to build a cockroach shack on that. You're going to build a five-story mansion. Get that through your freaking head. Besides, if you, let's suppose you really, you really cared about the old cockroach shacks that were here before. In that case, why don't you buy them all? Because you don't have the right to determine what somebody else does on their property. Do you have the right now to tell the people, oh, you can't tear down that old cockroach shack and put up a new house? Why can't you? I bought the land. I bought the house. I can do whatever the crap I want with it. So now you got all these old heads that are getting in the way of development. They're getting in the way of progress. And really, when they had it their way, all they had was a bunch of... It's not like they were... If, I, if these people were living on the island and it's the only place they had, I would definitely understand it. If you lived here on the island and this is you know where you were and how you're making a living, well, great. I understand that, man. It's your home. But these people weren't living here, dude. 90% of this crap is vacation room. That's my personal opinion. Protected by the Constitution. You don't have to like it. It's my opinion. So you have all these people now that live on the island and they don't want any change. They don't want the new houses to be up to the building code. Well, guess what? You don't really have a choice anymore, okay? Whoever's buying these properties, if you want to put up a cockroach shack, buy the land and put up your own cockroach shack. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of back in Naples. You guys remember when Naples, way back in the day, Naples, they were going to build up the Golden Gate Estates. And the rich people said, hold on now. We want to conserve some of this land. So what did the rich people in Naples do? The rich people in Naples bought everything, the south blocks in the Golden Gate Estates, that's everything south of 75 and east of 950, 941, which is called Boulevard or some. What we call in Southwest Florida, the south blocks. The south blocks were bought up by the rich people. The rich people put all their money together and they bought everything. So here's what I have to say to the people of North Fort, uh, I keep saying North Fort Myers, <laughs> Fort Myers Beach. I've been in North Fort Myers too much lately, it's on my mind. North Fort Myers is on my mind. If you really care about preserving Fort Myers Beach, you're all a bunch of rich turds, put all your money together, buy up the land, and put up a little park or something. But none of you guys are actually I'll tell that. you what the rich people in Naples did. The rich people in Naples, they pulled all their money together and they bought everything in the South Blocks. And then, after they bought all the land in the South Blocks, they turned it into a conservancy because that's, you know, they bought it. So my message to the people here that want to keep the old Fort Myers, you know, North Fort Myers, why do I keep saying North Fort Myers? Fort Myers Beach of the past, it looks like North Fort Myers now that's all beat up. I'm sorry, guys. The Fort Myers Beach of the past. If you want the Fort Myers Beach of the past, simple, you are all rich your money together buy all the land and leave it an empty lot and plant some palm trees on and say okay we're gonna buy this piece of land we're gonna plant seven palm trees and it's never gonna be a mansion anymore why don't you do that that's what the rich people in naples did you don't have naples money then maybe shut up i guarantee you that there is somebody who owns property here in fort myers beach who's complaining about oh they're changing our island what's going on hey. what's happening man hey, Good, good. Have a beautiful night. Beautiful night, man. There's somebody here who's complaining about, I want my island back, who's able to afford to buy every single property that hits the market. I'm not talking a bunch of rich guys pulling their money. I'm talking one single dude. One single dude that lives here in Fort Myers Beach that goes to all those meetings and complains about their changing our territory, complaining about they're taking my island. They're turning my island in Miami. We don't want to be Miami. 
One of the okay, here's a stray dog, and I was attacked. Oh, it's not stray. Okay, I, I'm now I'm paranoid of dogs. And I was attacked by a dog recently. Uh, recently, us today. I just got out of the hospital. You see the band on my hand? Attacked by a freaking dog. Freaking great. But dude, one of those rich guys can buy every single property that hits the market. Everything, no matter what it is. Buy it. land, house, building. Buy everything. Knock it down and put seven palm trees, coconut palm trees, some seashells and coconut palm trees, make it all conservancy. That's what they did in Naples until they owned it all. So if you have enough money to be able to do that and you don't do it, and then you cry about, they took my island. Buy it, you're a billionaire. Buy the whole freaking place, man. Buy the whole freaking place, put up some palm trees, make it a conservancy. And shut up and stop complaining about how they're changing my island. It's not yours until you buy it and you own it. You know when it's yours when you buy. Hey, if properties go on the market, and properties that aren't in the market, if it's worth three million and you offer five, they're gonna sell it. Buy all the land, do whatever the crap you want with it. But if you're not willing to buy the land and do whatever the crap, and you're able to do it, a lot of these guys that are complaining about it, they're able to do it. Buy it all. That's what the rich people in Naples did. Oh, you don't have Naples money? Then you might wanna shut up. But if you have Naples money, buy all this crap and do whatever the crap you want with it. Don't sit here and complain about how the place is changing and they're building all these McMansions where the little cottages used to be. Don't complain about it. Buy the land and then you can do whatever you want with the land. But if you're, if you're not going to buy it, then the person who did buy it, now they got the right to decide what they're going to do. So the thing about these people that are complaining about my island, they're changing my island. Well, buy it. Oh, you don't like, oh, they turned my city into Miami. Well, buy it then. If you can't afford to buy it, then you don't have the right to determine what it's going to be. The person who gets to determine what it's going to be is the person who freaking buys it. Now, a lot of these people that play the violin, I'm not saying in particular this one, but there's a lot of people that play violin. They're actually scammers. I'm not saying that's the case here, but there's a lot of them that are. They all play a little speaker box. I'm not saying that's the case with this dude, but there are plenty of them. It's like a scam that goes around Florida. I'm not saying it's the case, but it exists. Am I right or wrong? Tell me guys, does my conclusion make sense? Does it make sense? Awfully dark along the coast. And again, that's the way they want it from sea turtles. I'm having a good time. All right, and they put the clock back. It's not as big as it used to be, but they got it back. Stop crying. Put your money where your mouth is, and you have the money. That's the thing. If you told me they didn't have the money to do it, but they got the money to do it. So if you got the money to do it, go ahead and do it. Do it and stop complaining about it. Get it done, man. This place is completely devoid of talent, man. These singers can't sing. Look at hee -hee. They sound like they're stroking on a dang turkey down there. What the crap is that, man? These people. These people can't sing. They can't sing worth a crap. They can't sing. They, they don't know how, they don't. I'll tell you what, you should that dog down there, dude. Yeah, buddy. i tell you what, you just put a little WD-40 on them strings right there, mate. A little tight in that. Tune it a little bit too, it might be the, might be the third string down there, just kind of sound a little too long. So here we are guys. I think for as much time as has passed, this is uh not bad at all. It's not bad at all. The vibes are definitely starting to come back. Is it what it used to be? Absolutely not, but is it getting there? Eventually it will. Absolutely. Eventually Fort Myers Beach will be somewhat what it used to be. It's gonna be newer, it's gonna be better gonna be stronger is it gonna be a cockroach shack by the side of the beach like it was before of course not of course not and i'm gonna be honest with you there's probably a hundred or if not a thousand years of contamination in that water there's cars floating around the gulf of mexico still so it's gonna be a long time before things quote unquote go back to what they were before you know what i'm gonna be honest with you can i be honest with you i like the new fort myers beach better i would rather stay out look at this beautiful uh Margarita. I'm gonna stay here when I get a chance. I can't do it right now because I'm still dealing with some awfully horrible medical expenses. And now that I got a dog bite, I have no idea 
how much crappier my medical situations are going to get. But I got to see what my medicines are going to cost. They were talking about $10,000 treatment. I was like, yeah, I'd rather die at this point. Yeah. But anyways, I like this new Fort Myers more than the old Fort Myers. Um, I like that there's less people. I like that the vacation idiots drunk vacation windows are done. Maybe Fort Myers Beach needs to go back to Southwest Florida people. You know, screw your vacation rental. Put it on third gear. Just drop it. No, no, not that's not. The, put it in third. Drop the gear on it. I tell you what, these people don't know. Hey, what? They're, they're from North Fort Myers. They don't know any better. They, they think they're still in North Fort Myers. They don't know how to behave. I like the new Fort Myers Beach better. You know, I like it better. I like it better because it's quieter, there's less people. I was able to find a parking spot today. And maybe it needs to go back. Ah, it's loud! It needs to go back to the people of Southwest Florida. Give Fort Myers Beach back to the people of Southwest Florida. Okay, we, we're the ones. Get what the city! We're the ones that deserve to have this place. The people of Southwest Florida and this guy from West Virginia right here. You know, give it back to the people of Southwest Florida. Keep your stupid snowbird, the. Uh, I don't know what you're going to call them vacation rental crap to yourself. Give me something back, man. Here we go. Take a look, guys. According to law enforcement, 150 people. Now, some of the locals have told me that they think that number is far superior. But law enforcement is just putting that number out just to, you know, just to not make a scene out of it. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that's actually the case. Pizza by the slice and it looks great. Let me see if Katie wants to come over here and eat, guys. She probably wanted Mexican, but I don't think we should be eating pizza either. I don't know what to eat. There's a Haitian place in Fort Myers I like. And that's the other thing about Fort Myers. You know, I lived here in the Fort Myers area for roughly about a year. And I can honestly tell you, you know, the food scene here in Fort Myers uh, could use some improvement because I cannot think of a single restaurant in Fort Myers that I'm excited to go to. Like, there's cities, like, if I go there, there's some cities that if I go to them, I am definitely going to eat at a specific place. When I think about Fort Lauderdale, I got a Dominican place. I got a pizza place on the beach. Like different cities, different places that if I'm in those cities, I'm definitely going. But I'm in Fort Myers and I live here. And there's not like any place that I'm like, oh, wow, if we go to Fort Myers, we have to eat at Larry's or whatever, you know. That almost doesn't exist. Which is kind of disappointing because there's a lot of diversity in Fort Myers. You think they put up some good restaurants, but they really don't. And of course, along the beach, it's all garbage. Nothing, there's nothing good along the beach. Along the beach, it's all mostly uh, touristy food. So could that be part of the problem? I think the problem is in Southwest Florida, not in Naples. Let me tell you, the city of Naples, if I'm in Naples, man, I could tell you, I could tell you 20 different places. If I'm in Naples, the Bay House in North Naples, now the Bay House is a little expensive. It's not really affordable. It's a fancy place. I'm talking uh, valet parking. You get the idea, <laughs> okay? It's not cheap, but I mean, it's not ridiculous either for what it is. I can think about the Bay House in Naples. I am out of breath. Uh, if you guys know, I had a surgery a while back, so I'm struggling to get back to myself. I can think of the Bay House in Naples. I can think of uh, that Cuban place we go to in Golden Gate City. Habana Libre. Los Bambang in, in Naples. Right outside of downtown Naples is Los Bambang, another Cuban place. Uh, Mango's Cuban Cafe in North Naples. The list goes on and on. When I go to Naples, I can think of 20 places. I'm like, if I'm in Naples, I'm in here. But in Fort Myers, there really hasn't been a place I'm like, oh my, if I'm for Okay, I'll tell you, in Naples, you have Leone's Pizza. Now, Leone's Pizza is garbage. I mean, it is garbage, but it's sentimental to me because I grew up around it. The same thing with Ray's Pizza in Miami. Ray's Pizza in Miami is garbage, but I grew up around it and I like it. And you know, I, for me, it's special. It's not special in general, but what the crap, Fort Myers? Nothing in Fort Myers. And I'm like, oh, if I'm in Fort Myers, I have to eat here. You know what I'm saying, buddy? No, no, no. <laughs> and this walk is good for me. Everybody's like, I have to keep walking. Oh man, this is so hard. You guys have no idea, I'm in agony right now. Like, 
I'm struggling, but I know, and everybody's telling me, you know, you have to walk. You have to get back to how you were before. But, no, the tipo canta serie, tremenda canción que metió el tipo, man. No, the tipo canta serie. Yeah, yeah, Fort Myers. I'll tell you, there's a few places I like, but there's nothing I'm thrilled about. You know what I mean? Okay, Gandules in Lehigh Acres, Puerto Rican, off the of chain. Azúcar in Lehigh Acres, off the of chain. But Fort Myers proper, can't. La Casita is okay. I'll be honest, I, I don't really like nothing that like, comes to mind. It's like, wow. So imagine guys, the water here would have been over the over this roof in front of us. 14 foot storm surge. Insane. Uh what well, we lived here in Southwest Florida. Man. If you are uh, I did a lot of coverage of that hurricane. So if you're curious about the aftermath of a hurricane, go to my channel. And there is plenty. Of aftermath videos on my channel i think i can honestly say and one of my subscribers can verify this for me nobody covered hurricane irma not irma sorry ian the way i did i covered hurricane ian in an incredible way that's why i made fourteen thousand dollars in a month that's a lot of youtube revenue but I made it because I put out content that was just that cool. It was worth it. My best month ever on YouTube, $14,000. Yeah. Hard to beat. But it was, I'm not going to lie, it was a lot of work too. I went live and everybody was probably tuning into my channel because, you know, I was a Southwest Florida guy at that time. And I still am. Nobody's taking my spot. I might live 100 miles down the road, but I'm still a Southwest Florida guy. There's just not there. The day somebody wants to wear my shoes good enough, I'll let you know when they're wearing them. But in the meantime, nobody else comes to mind. In the meantime, nadie se ha puesto los zapatos conmigo. And if anybody tries, Le voy a espantar un bofetazo por la jeta serie. Conmigo no. No, conmigo no a serie. Ya mi gente sabe, los quiero. Thank you for watching today's video. And for Myers Beach, you can hang out here. It's quieter. I love it. I actually like it like this more than before. Uh, kind of. It's not a party vibe. It's, it's calmer. It's not the same party vibe. But you know, hey, that may be okay for now. One day it will become the capital of spring break and when I get enough money, I'm building me a McMansion out here, a big one. Yeah. Right, so this is one of my favorite places in the Fort Myers area. It's on Lehigh Acres. We're gonna come here and get something to eat and finish off the day with some good Puerto Rican food. Let's get in there.